What's happening everybody? Welcome back to R44's channel. Today we are in Salzburg, Austria with the G81 M3 Touring. So yeah, it's me, my, myself, Reese, and Dylan behind the camera and we've got a beautiful set of mountains behind us and we're up on a massive mountain ourselves but more importantly let's look at this g81 m3 so peter a good friend of ours and that owns a company called sports wagen hagen or something in germany so shout out to we're going to put the link below um, but shout out to peter and his team they um are prestige car dealership and rental cars here in salzburg um, austria and they've given us this uh for the weekend to modify so this is the plan is um to make the first modified g81 m3 worldwide um, so this car is already dropped on h and r um, adjustable ride height springs um, it does have a set of yellow uh, wheels but they are currently being remachined or something um, but we're going to put a full mhc kit and a lot more but we'll go into that later but let's have a little look around the car i'm going to jump out of the way and appreciate the car um, obviously this is the touring version only available in a lot of different countries other than the US I know you guys want that um, and it's something that we're working on to get one over there soon for you guys um, to take a look at but yeah let's have a little walk around this car um, probably the best bit is the split trunk um, wow what a car I've been driving it through the rolling hills there you go and then you open this bad boy cool feature loads of boot space um it's a brand new car it's just been delivered so the reason we're out here pretty much is our car has been delayed slightly so we do have one of these coming here in the uk um there's been a couple cars delivered ours is coming very very soon but we thought we need to be the first on this um so we're coming out here we flew out this morning left at about 3 a.m um arrived picked up the car we've gone and shot it we've gone to a huge mountain now to get some cool photos of the car stock and then we're going to get the parts lay them out in peter's workshop and get building um, um, so yeah, again, there's not much more to talk about it. It's an M3, but an estate, and it just looks amazing. It's an LCI car, so it's got the big dash. Um, but Dylan will throw all the amazing B-roll and some cool content anyways. Um, but yeah, less of me talking. I just want to get this modified and then get back out and show you guys what it's going to look like. What's happening, Harry? We are back in the workshop with the G81 M3. So yeah, it's up on the ramp. We're now in Peter's workshop um, here in Salzburg, Austria. Um, yeah, sorry, very tired, but let's go. Yeah, so the G81 is on the ramp. There's no parts here. We're just gonna showcase all of the stripping. Then when the parts are here, we're gonna run through the parts. Um, should I run through them now, Dylan? A little highlight of what we're doing? A little highlight, let's do it. So first thing first, these little white um, DRLs are going and yellow ones are being replaced, which I think will look just unbelievable on the black. GT grill, so my favorite grill that's on my Mexico blue car. So it's a GT grill, two slats at the top and then two at the bottom and I'll cut it um, bespokely around the ACC. Uh, twin fin ducts, SP1 splitter and a load of stuff going down the rear. But I'm gonna leave the rear because the rear is gonna be a world's first, of course, because uh, obviously a lot of people have ducks. So there's one car that's got a grill, little things like that. But yeah, we're just gonna start cracking on here. Um, and doing that, anything else I should highlight, Dylan, you think? No, I think, yeah, the main thing is we're cracking on. We've got the Red Bulls going, we're gonna pump up the JBL and get partying, get this stripped down, and then uh, go from there. everybody it is go time um we've got the limo behind us but more importantly we look at that limo dylan it's another g81 touring m3 in white so we now have the oreo we just need one more hopefully we find it one day but more importantly let's show you what's happening so the parts are here a little backstory a bit of fun these parts were stuck in customs um because this was a bit of a last minute thing we'll do a little obviously our car's delayed so we um called up peter and said let's make the most modified m3 touring that we can um with the parts that we have he said let's go and this was probably tuesday maybe wednesday boom so the boys packed up the parts so shout out to jasper aldridge and everybody in the warehouse they 
packed it, they shipped it, Jade and Zach and everybody in our team got them out. They're stuck in customs. Again, shout out to everybody involved. They got them through UPS. And then the lovely guys here drove all the way up, 300 kilometers up and to UPS or to the airport and then 300 kilometers back. Just landed, is now seven, eight o'clock here. Um, and we're gonna start this build, complete it and then showcase some crazy stuff tomorrow. But more importantly, let's talk mods. Um, so we've laid out comparison, what we're, comp we're changing over, um, and then we've got some additional parts and we've also got the splitter additional. So Dylan, what can you see? Where should I start? At the top. So the most important thing is the SP1 splitter. Um, so yeah, this is an additional, obviously, to the replacement parts that we're doing. So a front lip, um, this is just an OEM kind of just bolts on. Um, then we've got the GT front grills paired up next to the original grills um, with the M3 badge already pre-installed. So on, your website, on the website, if you need a badge, we can pre-install it. If you have a non-comp, you will get a black badge. We only offer black badges, unfortunately. But that's the GT grill, the ACC. I'm gonna custom cut it. So it's not something we do offer, but you can do it at home. It's pretty simple. Um, we then have the twin fin ducts, as you can see. Um, so they're gonna pair up nicely with the SP1, replacing those horrible honeycomb grills. We then have the mirror caps, which are gloss black, um, and we've got our carbon ones. Going on to the bad boys up there, which is the OLED lights. Um, so we're replacing the pretty damn cool BMW lights, but with the even better OLED lights with the sequence sequential indicators. We've got the OEM diffuser up here, um, which is replacing the gloss black. Very similar style as the gloss black with an additional fin, slightly more refined. Um, yeah, so that's all that. That is the selection that we're replacing plus the SP1. We then go on to the SK1 side skirt, so a flat side skirt down the side. Uh, again, this uses its own fixings that are provided. Um, we've got the seat back, so this car has no, doesn't have the carbon bucket. It's got this kind of comfort spec, which is pretty cool. So these just kind of add some carbon touches to the interior. And then we've got a DRLs, boom, the yellow lights in there as well. So they're replacing the modules. And that is a roundup of this. The car is already fit with h and adjustable height has kit pretty much adjustable suspension um, and the wheels are coming soon we don't think they're going to be featuring because they're just getting re refined so the fitment's perfect um but yeah so these are all mhc products um pre preg products three-year warranty you know fitment guarantee so obviously starting at eight o'clock we want to get to the bar we want to have some nice food so fingers crossed this should take us a couple hours to install car will look crazy um and we're gonna have a good time so yeah let's just get cracking <laughs> Welcome back here, we are in the mountains. So, as you can see, we are in a beautiful setting. Apologies about my attire, I've gone for the comfort spec, but the G81. So this is the build that we've created over the last 24 hours, I'd say. Um, I think we just walked straight through uh, what we've done. Obviously, we've got the beautiful mountain, a bit of snow, so the content's gonna be crazy, but let's walk through the specs. So we've got the GT grill, obviously you cut around the ACC, the twin fins, the SP1, the DRLs, well, a 11 mil h and spacers on stock wheels, on snow tires, obviously for this kind of weather. 
the bad boy R44 Sunstrip available on the website. Um, yeah, we've got a less walkthrough one thing. So the OLED light, so that was really probably our most exciting side of things. Unfortunately, um, they don't fit as much as we thought they'd fit. The left-hand side, the larger part of the light um, is actually slightly shorter than the GA, uh, but the smaller part is the same size. So what we're gonna do um, is Order up these second we get back to uh, to base on Monday. Order up a set of G81 lights, send them off to the factory, and get them into production because the OLED lights are going to finish off this rear end. Because not much more that you can do to these cars. Uh, we've also got the rear boot lid, uh, the little spoiler. We've got that back at base at the minute. We're scanning it. We're designing a spoiler. But other than that, there's not much else that we can really do to the car um, in theory. Um, but yeah, up next is our SP2 front lip. So we're hoping to when our car comes out, the SP2 front lip the S sk2 side skirts are coming out as well um we've got side fenders we've got a new bonnet coming we've got loads of new parts coming um we just need to scan and cross uh, engineer the fenders to see if they're similar to the ga hopefully they are that would make our life a little bit easier um cheers buddy um but yeah let's walk around it dylan um so yeah coming down the side obviously got the carbon fiber mirrors so they fit up nicely um we've got the sk1 skirts covered in snow um, I think the 11 mil spaces on the stock wheels with snow tires look amazing on the adjustable H&Rs. Um, the rear end, we've got the OEM style diffuser on the stock exhaust system. And this is the little spoiler I was talking about. So they, uh, I've seen a few Tourings without them and some with, so I'm not too sure what's happening, but it's very similar to like the G80 spoiler um, and the G82 spoiler. So we got this coming in an OEM shape. So just exact same, but in carbon and a slightly refined shape um, coming in. We've looked at replacing this whole unit. Um, it's just the insulation process is a bit it's a bit long, so there's no point. But if we can do a trim that goes over it, it'd be quite cool. Um, the new shark fin coming out for the LCI cars as well. So some cool new products coming out, but more importantly, um, shout out to the guys that own this G81. Um, all their details would be below. So if you're in uh, Salzburg, Austri Australia, Austria, um, and you want to rent a car, so obviously we've been out in their R8, they've got G-Wagons, they've got loads of cars you can rent, um, as well as a full kind of car sales side of things. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All I've got to do is take in this scenery. Um, you guys enjoy some of the nice content that Dylan's going to create as we're f sliding through um, both in this and the R8, through the mountains, and um, yeah, hit that link below, get shopping. If you have a G81 Tour and you're looking to modify it, just set, hit up our sales team. We're so keen to work on more G81s across the globe. Sorry, guys, in the US. Um, hopefully, we'll have a car out there in the summertime so you guys can have a look around them and enjoy them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to sign out. Thanks again for watching. Please share this to your friends. Uh, we want to try and get this build as far as we can out to the, the world. Um, and yeah, hit up our Instagram. We've got endless content coming in on these GAE ones and much more. So take care and enjoy.